Well, I'm back at Green Bridge, and the life jackets, the life vest are gone. I hope the owner got them, but you on things like that you never know. Well, following what I'm fixing to say, stay tuned for a video about the Mandela effect. Some people call it the uh, CERN effect. I say that the description that this guy gives in this video as an explanation is one of the most thorough explanations that I've seen on the Mandela effect. It really made a lot of sense. There's a glitch in the matrix and we're starting to see it but you have to be aware that you're seeing it or you hear a, one of the effects and then you realize that it changes the way you think about what you knew and he goes into talking about the collective consciousness and how powerful that is and how it can be influenced and it has been influenced in the past if, if it is what we're coming to find out that it is it's going to get real interesting still over a simulated period of time it's not going to happen all at once unless there's some kind of major download of disclosure and it looks like there's some of that coming out daily almost it's soft disclosure but stay tuned for the video following this about the Mandela effect the hydrogen collider effect <laughs> the the effect that needs to be analyzed and discussed. The Mandela Effect Possible Explanations There is more than one possible explanation. Regardless of what we don't know we can see that there is something being perceived or actually happening across the population. We are either being led to believe we are experiencing more than one timeline, misinformation effect. Variables are being changed through temporal manipulation. More than one universe is being merged or interacting with one another. Soul and spirit allow for transportation of knowledge across the boundaries of space and time. These events might be an effort to maintain continuity of the perceptions here. This might be due to operations which manipulated events in the first place. All explanations are possible, plausible given enough experience, and most likely occurring. This may be a result of exploration of various planes. Exponential increase of variability. There are other events that have been correlated with the approach of our universe to an interaction period with another universe. This may be considered a high point of a cycling of variables throughout the dance of energy and awareness. At this point there is an opportunity to expand our awareness through a quantum leap which would enable humanity to momentarily perceive a fundamental shift in reality. What we are experiencing now as a society is an unparalleled potential for self-awareness due to the transfer of information into the digital and now holographic age. People are processing information to the degree where society as a whole is functioning as a second, larger, cybernetic brain system. This is where the idea of a sentient computer system comes from. The web of information people have pumped into the interconnected networks has the potential to organize streams of data into processes that mimic thoughts and self-awareness. Does this mimic thought or is the electrical processing of the brain the same as the cybernet? Most people feel there is a missing heart aspect that can't be replicated and that this would leave the intelligence as purely logical. Some of the events we are seeing now, and ultimately all of them, are for the increasing of awareness of the people. Whether people take this towards a decrease or increase in their self-awareness and thus empowerment is not to be decided for them. The knowledge must be known and the changes will be revealed and this is because the events and operations of the secret projects have led to a complete change in the perspective of humanity, reality, time and life itself. Thus, 
whether the events are increasing or decreasing awareness, eventually, everyone will know something is happening. Spiritual Sight It may be that those who have memories of both timelines are capable of maintaining awareness during a shift and these events have been utilized to both identify and isolate those who are able to see beyond. This could be taken both ways whereas these people are required to maintain the continuity of the experience here and as well those who are unable to see the difference are identified. This may come down to a particular issue about certainty in the co-creation of reality streams. The more uncertain people become about the very collective reality that they are building, the more likely that reality is to change or shift in some way. If people are to know about reality, it eventually comes from the self because the awareness we gain will tell us how this reality is a projection of what we hold within. If this is what it is happening on a collective scale then these events are going to act as the loosening up of those whose reality streams are capable of handling the extra information. Dimensional Membranes and Advanced Technology This has also been related to the opening of portals or the contact of extraterrestrial, alien, or spiritual beings in planes. Portals and dimensional rifts have been related to CERN and the particle accelerator device which is extremely powerful. There were stories told that strange events happened when the machines were turned on. Such as an important yet zealous individual disappearing to this day. Others having memory disruption or perceptual hallucinations. It was as if the energy was acting as a scalar gateway not to sending information to someone else's brain but of transferring information from one universe to the next. Regardless of how the events are going down, what we express with our logical and emotional processes will reflect more vividly unto the collective reality. Those who lack the control or certainty of what is happening will experience an intensity of that. Those who choose to stay certain within the perspective of the self, soul, and spirit, will experience an intensification of that. Experimentation P.S. In the basis, years ago as children, we were made to repeatedly watch or play out scenes in movies, scripture, or history in which dot you guessed it, are the changes that are attributed to the temporal manipulation. Space, time, and consciousness. What do these experiences indicate about the nature of space, time and consciousness? Does consciousness reflect the time we experience, or does time reflect the consciousness? This opens the mind up to the realization that consciousness and reality may be reflexive. Some people may be able to access more than one form of reality because their minds are capable of making the connections, meanwhile others experience no variance because of the way their minds work. An important final note, confirmation bias. These events and this information I am offering goes both ways. This could all be a form of controlled collective hallucination due to the ability of the mind to extrapolate reality from a set of given variables. This was reminded to me by a good friend who runs the Ruiner blog. It could be that nothing has changed but our minds have been implanted with the ideas that certain variables have changed and the rest is taken care of by the collective unconscious which will then propel these ideas into being to create an overall illusion of reality. However, just due to the notion, I feel this indicates that reality is malleable and that consciousness is recursive. This does lead to the next question. Does collective belief influence reality? This brings up the notion of backstray being created continually every moment depending on the preconceived aspects of the programming of the subconscious. The idea is not so much about the concept of how we remember the events creating a new reality but that how we choose to remember determines our perspective and that this creates a new set of possibilities and options for experience to expand. This expansion includes more information and with more information comes more knowledge of the true self. The true self is eternal and so when we inhabit routines that are limiting to the natural variance in possibilities there is a slow reduction of the inflow of the experience of the self. This is a side effect of passing up opportunities through which we can assert our sense of true self which is often by merely observing. What's your, what's your question? How long have you been with Barack Obama? Have I, we been married? Uh, 20 something years. 
Wait, somebody, you guys know the date. When was it? It's been, it's been over a decade. It's been a while. 